What is going on guys? Sid here with another Spooky Season Specials and guys today we are tackling Ghouls and Ghosts level 2, right? So level 1, I explained to you guys, right, how this game operates. I didn't play it when I was younger but I knew all about this game, right? So the game is pretty much designed to just kill you, right? No matter what you do, you cannot anticipate what is coming next in the level, right? If you're playing this culture, you have to play this a million times over to get the timing down just right. Because the amount of times you're gonna see a game over on the screen is absolutely ridiculous. The game was designed for one thing and one thing alone, to steal your coins, right? To steal your hard earned 25 cent quarters, right? So that's how this game operates. It's an amazing platformer. It's a brilliant old school platformer. It's hailed as one of the best games on earth, right? But it's also one of the most difficult games on earth, right? And it's gained that reputation over the years. I've known about it, have not touched it, but if you guys are feeling nostalgic at this point, do hit that like button, that subscribe button for more spooky season specials, guys. So guys, we're in level two, and we've got some like bouncy, bouncy turtles, right? Uh, hard shell turtles that it doesn't seem like you can touch them until they come out of the shell. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you're playing this game for the first time cold turkey, there's no way in hell you can anticipate this, right? The, oh, oh my God, right? So, so everything just breaks apart, right? The stairs break apart, the, there's quicksand there's there's a beast in the quicksand right um everything everything just falls apart in this level right it's designed to kill you and it's designed for that and that alone right so this is ghouls and ghosts in a nutshell right and i just i just had to laugh at every time i died right every time i saw a game over on the screen i'm like yep that's what this game is and that's what you have to come in with. You cannot get mad or get frustrated. You have to just laugh at the game. You have to laugh at how crazy difficult this game is, right? And that's what makes this game fun, right? Just knowing that you're supposed to die, right? You're not really supposed to be clearing the levels. Like you clear the levels, yes, but you're supposed to die and you're supposed to die in some fiendish, silly, stupid ways every single time without failure you are gonna die by something very novel very unique whether it be you know falling through quicksand um having a scorpion or whatever the hell that creature is right come kill you or this is my favorite part's coming up on this level right so there's the torches right uh the rotating torches and then as you're running and you just la 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 bam <laughs> there's a skull right if you're playing this for the first time who the hell can anticipate a skull being hurled at you with pinpoint accuracy, right? So I died twice before I figure out, okay, I'm not gonna be able to just run past the skull. I've gotta run backwards when the skull, right? So to anticipate that, right? Um, that in the level itself is just, it's just a whole different dimension of gaming. This is old school gaming at its finest, right? Because you cannot anticipate these things, right? Games are no longer, very few games are like this now. A lot of games are highly predictable. This game is quite the opposite. This game is quite unpredictable. You don't know which angle an enemy is coming from. You don't know which direction they're coming from. You don't know how powerful they are. You know nothing. You don't even, I don't even know if this was my final boss. I thought this was my final boss because he was moving every which way. And now the floor is gone, right? So essentially ghouls and ghosts, right? It's not really about the boss battle. The whole level is a boss battle. That's what you have to remember, right? And I'm dead again, right? The amount of times that I saw a game over on this screen was about to pull my hair out, but of course you have to play this game with that expectation, right? And that's what makes it so fun and so cool, so novel, so unique for spooky season specials, right? So we're coming across the end of this video and here's the thing about Ghouls and Ghosts, like I'm saying, Ghouls and Ghosts is all about the crazy level design, right? The whole level is a final boss, right? It's not a traditional final boss battle, 
right? It's not in no way a traditional final boss battle. The final boss is not overpowered. He is just some another enemy that you have to clear. He looks scary, he looks crazy, but he looks super powerful, but he's not, right? It's just a boss that you have to clear at the end of the level. And you're thinking you're bracing yourself for some crazy, super crazy beast, but no, the whole level is like that, right? So guys, this is we're coming across the end of the video for Spooky Season Specials, and we're gonna leave it there. We're not even gonna touch level three. I just tried level three, and then I was like, okay, you know what, no. We're not doing, we're doing one level a day, right? Every time we play this game, and for Spooky Season Specials, guys, it's been Sid. Drop a like, comment, subscription, notification bell. If you are new, check out the FIFA 22 RTG content as well, and all the other Spooky Season Specials. Guys, this was fun, but yeah, we're not touching this level here today, right? Because this level is just another level of crazy but this game is so super damn cool cheers guys sid